Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Limbo Podcast. You already know your boy Omi Otis Don Malapisan right here. I'm back like I never left. I know you guys missed me. Um, I just need a little break, you know, because it sometimes it gets overwhelming to sit here and talk to people all the time. We need a break sometimes. But uh, without any waste of time, today we have somebody who's, um, there's, a, there, there's an English word for it. Is it charismatic? I think that's the word. Yes, this guy is highly intelligent, um, very funny. Uh, you guys know him from all social platforms, your TikTok, Facebook, very popular guy. Uh, when I when I look at him, I just see somebody who's very intelligent. He does a lot of stuff, but the intelligent side of him is what actually made me bring him over here. Let's give it up for this normal boy. Oh, I am Satine. I'm not happy with that, guys. <laughs> at the back, let's give it up for this normal boy. <laughs> Today. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I feel very welcome. I'm just not sure about what is osketarismetic, but yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the invitation. Here no we go. Problem. You're welcome, my brother. Question number one, what is your body count? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, I was about to answer that, but <laughs> since you're kidding, then all right. No, but I'm... for those who want to know, my body count is 159, and I'm <laughs> proud about it. <laughs> Why are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Hundred and what? Fifty-nine. Like we're talking about actual bodies here. Yeah? Yes, different bodies, correct. Dead or alive? Alive. And not sure if they're dead, but yes. <laughs> okay. Of course, when I've been with them, they were alive. So yeah. Yes. Hey, yes, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> We need to operate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me, where were you when um uh, what is it? This thing that just recently happened. Uh, the COVID. Oh. No, no, the explosion. Oh, the, the bomb gas thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because ah. you guys, you stayed at the... Ah, being his telescope, I mean, I was a bit far from those things. I yeah. was busy eating scope. You were safe day. on that day. Yeah, I was safe on that day. Yeah. yeah. My guy, you come from um, Limpopo, if I'm not mistaken. Facts. Uh, from a place called Zebediela. Interestingly true. Yeah. So, like, growing up, what type of a, of, of a child were you? Uh, I was one person who, okay, primary, quiet and shy. Yeah. High school, quiet and shy until grade nine, back in 2013. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, was doing modeling, became Mr. Duvaki, uh -huh. became the popular guy in school. Yeah. Became one of the most wanted guys in school. Is that where the 159? <laughs> <laughs> That's where things started there. But then, yeah, uh, besides that, I come from a, an okay background. I can't say we, we poor, but at least we can afford... You know? Yeah, but then yeah, grew up going to public schools and all that. But yeah, my childhood was fun and interesting, especially yeah. from grade nine when I started, you know, coming out, talking, sure thing. no longer being shy, and yeah. all those kind of things. So yeah, I had a great childhood, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, I've re I mean, something I've realized about you is that you, you've got so much interest in mathematics. We'll, yeah, we'll get to that. But 
I want to know like what kind of like during your high school times and also going into university, what type of subjects were you into? Uh, math and science, math, physical science, geography, life sciences, LO and the languages. Yeah. And I won't lie. I passed grade 10 with a uh, condone. Condone because of failing mathematics and... Failing mathematics? Yeah. It's something that you're pretty much good at right now. Facts. Yeah. So yeah, th- something happened dramatically back in 2014 when I was moving from grade 10 to grade 11. But... That dramatically we want it. <laughs> <laughs> so but as you know, I was... As I'm saying that I was a little bit popular in grade 9 because of the modeling things and whatever. Yeah. So I passed grade uh, 10 with condone. Mathematics was one of my struggles. Yeah. And then my mom was like, now when I got past the condone, what well, what repeat? I'm like, yeah. Hey, mama, I'm going to say, I'm going to go and say, I'm going to go and say, and she's like, okay, instead of doing that, rather you, 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 go, you go camping for December then. And I'm like, mm. oh, sure, let me mm. rather do that. And then we're camping, we're just the three of us. Uh, we were taught by... Plus Masalisa and Tom for yeah. the rest of December. So the entire December of me passing with Kondon, I was busy doing maths, physics, life science, and geography. Sure. That's where everything became easy. There was no sleep. Mm. Oh, one hey, fell. People at the time, yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah, that's where things changed dramatically. In the beginning of grade 11, January, I was done with the whole syllabus mm. of the whole year. And then, mm. hey, all of a sudden, math is... It's simple. It's a simple, man. Yeah, till you today. Know, till today. Yeah. Ah, today's simpler. Ne? Way, way, way simpler. And then the... the obviously, you done with high school. Now we're proceeding to, you know, yes. <clears throat> university. Like, w- when you you were do, doing your high school, were you in? You were, were you already in Johannesburg or you were in... Uh, I did my high school back in the villages. I only came to Johannesburg when I was doing my first year. Then I did... Uh, Wait, where were you doing it? Uh, I started in PSN. And okay. then from there, I moved to Witwatersland, Vits, and then did computer sciences. They don't know that Vits. They, they know that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you complicated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then did computer sciences, get done with it, and then currently doing something else. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm currently doing something new again. But it. somebody told me that, <clears throat> you know, this guy... Has kind of like graduated a lot of times, but he doesn't stop studying. Oh, yeah, well, why, why don't you stop? Like for somebody who, you know, how, you know, especially as black people, we get a degree, just one and you're out, you're going to work. Why haven't you like decided to like stop studying and continue? I want to know, computer science is not something that I really, really loved. Initially, I had no idea what it was. I mm-hmm. just got them like, I want something that has to do with mathematics. Yeah. And then we were like, okay, computer science. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do computer science. Only to find out, no, 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 no. Mm. Math is only at the beginning. From there, it's more about programming. And mm. I, I did find it a little bit challenging, but sure. managed to conquer it and survive it. Uh, from there, yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm yeah, done with this thing. So it's like when you work, it's like you're still studying. Mm. Software development, you're yeah. always learning. Sure. And so, yeah, but so, yeah, and then I'm like, I want maths. So mm. actual sciences is what has to do with maths. I'm like, I'm going for this. Yeah. This We're is still going to talk a lot about maths, right? Yeah. What, going back to mathematics again, what now inspires you or pushes you to tap into the space of, you know, uh, sharing the knowledge that you have with other, uh, should we call them kids, students, oh, learners? Yes. Okay. Yeah, like what, what now pushes you to, to start uh, uh, doing the whole tutoring? Do you, is it the, right, guys? Tutoring? Or? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what happened dramatically back in me moving from grade 10 to grade 11, I got so much assistant uh, by those certain people who were teaching me differently from what I was actually learning back in high school. Mm. And then I noticed after I was good, if I had such a support back from grade 10, I was definitely going to be something different because the way they were teaching, they were doing what you call edutainment. So it's entertainment through education. Mm. Then I was like, I wish I had this. So since it's something that I wish I had, I'm like, I have the power to can now come back and give it to them. Then that's how I started the tutoring thing. Mm. That's why I enjoy sharing the knowledge and whatsoever. And the more I do that, that's the more I see people moving into the mathematical world. And I enjoy that a lot because everything is about math in this whole entire world. Yeah, for sure. That's true. Yeah, so there's another question which I have for you. I think that's where the math is gonna get a little bit interesting. Sure. But then there's a question that I thought about, right? Mm-hmm. And I I figured that maybe you might have an answer for it. You know, 
we have teachers, lectures, um, who are teaching maths yes. and accounting. Mm -hmm. um, but then they find it difficult to, to manage their own finances. And they find it difficult to become wealthy. So I want to know, like, from you, for, for people who actually are in the, in the, in the sector of dealing with numbers, uh, finance, why is it difficult for them to apply that same method? <laughs> okay, guys, sorry for that. My bad. Um, the laptop went off. I should have known. So, yeah, but the question I was still asking my brother here is, you know, for, for people who are dealing with numbers yes. every day, and this is something that they kind of like teaching every year, you know, they're dealing with numbers, finance, but why is it difficult to apply those same methods or formula in their own lives? Why, why is that? Because they don't necessarily teach us or them how to actually manage money. They are just teaching mathematics in a mathematical way, not necessarily mm -hmm. in the finance. And also, okay. what's also punishing is what we call black tax for most of us or them. Mm. And then besides that, also the fear of form, the fear of, form, fear of missing out, and the ability and stability to always try to sustain and always food or stabilize your adrenaline. Mm. The moment you feel like, okay, now nah, I need a car, then you get into a debt to be involved in a car. You are feeling your adrenaline to make yourself happy. Yeah. And then now for the rest of your life or half of your life, you are busy trying to maintain all those things that you did, uh, mm. you owe and all those kind yeah. of things. So budget is what is always killing us and always feeling like, you know what, I have enough. It's like now you feel like, okay, just got my payment. I have 40K. Mm. And then you see a shoe is 1.5. It's just 1.5. Yeah. Ah, and then you see a t-shirt, ah, it's just 600. So at the end of the day, they accumulate. Meanwhile, you are trying to feed your adrenaline to make mm. yourself happy. So at the end of the day, they buy you move out of the budget. Ish. And also feeling like saving money in your bank yeah. is saving. Meanwhile, it's actually a way of it's losing value. Because if this thing today is 20 rand, next week is 120 rand. You've been saving the same 100 rand in your account. Mm. Today, you can afford five of them. But in two years' time, you can't even afford one with the same money that you've been saving. So uh, saving money instead of investing yeah. money. So. Kids at home, are you listening to this man? <laughs> <laughs> this man is speaking facts. Okay. But so, so what you're basically saying is the accounting is kind of like defeated by the adrenaline that you get when you want something. Yes, is that and, what you're saying? And also not necessarily being taught on how to budget money because when we deal with accounting, it's just a matter of, okay, not a problem. This is how Mr. Smith is managing his money. He's paying one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. seven, eight, nine, ten. They're not necessarily saying that for you to be able to be sustainable with your money, mm. you need to learn one, two, three about investment. Sure. You need to learn to start your own business. And we are always uh, stabilizing ourselves towards being employed rather than mm. us starting our own businesses yeah working for someone is you making someone rich as time goes by yeah. rather than us thinking about businesses and us being the employers to employ other people mm. so that we can be Dope. well and rich so tell me here you being good in math is that the reason why you are also good at bad way interesting uh i wouldn't necessarily say that but i will say it has an effect because when i do the bad way yeah i do what we call real analysis and statistics real analysis wow. real analysis yeah. and statistics what is okay for normal people stats yeah. oh, stats and probability right. okay. but what real analysis does is just a matter of seeing these case achieves that is playing against my melody sundowns for the past four games, according to the statistics or head-to-head -head history, there's something that happens more regularly. It's corners. There's always more than 4,5 corners in the mm. first half. Or there's more yellow cards or there's more goals or whoever, whoever is always scoring. So mm. real analysis is going to assist you on selecting if I'm going for goals, yellow cards, corners, and whatsoever. And then statistics is going to come with the probability, okay, if the chances of this game having four corners or mm. four yellow cards is 1,3, for the second game is 7, whatsoever. And then if I calculated the probability for me to win this ticket is this and this and this. Mm. So that is where the mathematics is coming in. So it becomes more of investing and analyzing more than just gambling. 
Mm. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm also a gambler, but hey, I... you are a gambler. I'm someone who analyzes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm an analyzer. You see, there's a difference. You are a gambler on Betway, and I'm an analyzer and calculating my probabilities. So if I calculate my probabilities, and when I just go, okay, six games, straight win or whatsoever, and then yeah. I come in and analyze first. Not necessarily saying that. No, I'm, I'm not a gambler. Win. I'm, I'm an analyzer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I analyze my investment. So, that so, is my investment. Oh, so basically, when you analyze and then you invest. Thank you. You gamble. There's a difference between me and you. As far as I was... It's burning. It's color It's not just... It's not just me. Okay. But, you know, because I always see your screenshots, right? Yeah. Uh... So I wanted to like to get it right. Is like but you did kind of like explain to me like what you actually do. Yeah. But uh most of the times when I see your screenshots, you don't play a lot of games. Um and also the money it, it, it's quite hefty. So I ask myself, is is why is this guy always getting his predictions right? So which which is why you, you kind of explained that. Because yeah. I wanted to understand, like, did you kind of like master the algorithm? Or you somehow, some way have interest in football yourself? Uh, it's not necessarily about me having food, uh, interest in football. So you don't have that? I do have interest in football, yeah. but the, it's not the effect that is, is playing the, the main role in yeah. the situation. Because uh, how I actually started, I won't lie. I was a gambler like you before, losing a lot of money. <laughs> yes. I made a mistake. But... <laughs> I was once like you gambling with my money. And then from there... I didn't just start by weighing so much money mm. because I don't have money. So what I started with, I can say, you start with 100 rent. Let's mm. say you go for, with 100 rent, you go for five pots. Five pots, you can probably get it from three games. Yeah. And if you win it, you have 500. From that 500, you look for another five pots. Yeah. You can play five, three games in the morning. Yeah. Win, uh, 500. Take that 500 with another five pots. Yeah. And then that's going to be 2.5. That 2.5 in the night games, that's when you're going to divide it. Uh, one ticket to place 100 rand, which is a risk. And then the other ticket to place 2,000 with single game or two, yeah. which gives you two or four odds. Yeah. Then like that, like you're continuously accumulating. Yeah. You don't place bets with from the bank or from your pockets. Yeah. You use what you already accumulated from the betway. Mm. And how much do you roughly make per week? <laughs> per week. Let's talk per about week. Yeah. Enough to can sustain my life for that certain week. Yeah. yeah. Are you, when we end the interview, you should, because, and you also sell strategies, don't you? Of how, because I've seen that before. I, in a way, indirectly do. Okay, just hold on. Okay, what were, where were we? Uh, I was, you were actually asking if I'm selling the strategies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yes, uh, I, 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 I would not necessarily agree with me selling okay. strategies, but it's just developing. Oh, no problem. I'm not I, used I, to I, doing blowjobs, so <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, like, <laughs> it gives me that mentality to go to, no, this is black and big and it's next to my mouth, so I'm thinking of something. No, 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 don't think of it that way. <laughs> No, 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 okay, guys. No, I was wrong for saying that. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. But okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So the thing is, I'm always thinking of eating. So I'm probably like, okay, I'm eating this and it's this what one. I'm but how are you thinking of it? <laughs> no, because I'm thinking of eating and if there's something that is long next to my mouth and black. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> okay, never mind that. No, no, let's come back. Let's come. Guys, I did not say that people said. I don't know how I did say that. <laughs> But it was a mistake. I wasn't supposed to say that. That was not supposed to be heard. Mm. Uh, I was still saying that I'm not necessarily really selling uh, strategies, but mm. actually giving people knowledge on how they can go about this. Yeah. And for the fact that I've invested so much of my time into me learning all those strategies, mm. it's not something that I can say I'm willing to just give out for free mm. because I invested in that. Sure. And me giving you that knowledge, you can do more. Yeah. You don't have to be there every single month. Just there, accumulate all those strategies, and then you are fine. Sure. You know, from your tutoring yes. to the bad way, yes. one thing I've realized is that you, you, you combine these two initiatives and make it a business, In right? Way, yes. Yeah. So is this something that you, because I say it as well, that you... 
you've studied, but you're not yet in the industry of, you know, the corporate world yet of, you know, you don't have the interest of working yet. I don't know whether it's interest or what, but the main point is that you, you take these two initiatives as a business. So my question to you is, is that something that you're looking to focus on going forward as, 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 uh, this normal or as I never even got your real name. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see. Oh, my real name is Davy, by the way. David, D A V E Y, Davy. Not Davido. No, 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 Davy. <laughs> Davy. Okay. Yeah, but to answer your question, uh, I can't necessarily say that I'm looking forward to be maintaining this for the rest of my life because mm. I believe so much into the education system. But as much as I'm involved and interested in the education system, I'm also looking towards something that is that can sustain me okay. for the rest of my life. At the moment, I currently believe it mm. has to do with business. Mm. But after I've collected enough wopaki, but mm. now I can go and face the real world. Mm. So I understand that if one, two, three, four, five doesn't go well, at least in the academic world, I have one, two, three that yeah. I can go and fight myself with. Yeah. yeah. So you don't see yourself more of a employee. Yeah, you are an employer. Yes. Is, is I'm seeing you? myself as becoming an employer. But in case things don't go well, yeah. I am currently focusing on the academic system since I believe so much in it that yeah. in case things don't go well, at least I can say when the life punches... I have a gun. Yeah. Fight back. <clears throat> you, you do so many things. Thanks. Right? So I just want to know, how do you balance everything from you being on TikTok, entertaining people, you know, having uh, these tutoring lessons that you do, uh, you studying, you... Um, Making noise on the corridors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me going live with Bopudi and Dinosaur. Yeah. So how do you juggle all of those things? Because it, it kind of looks like your life is busy all the time. My life you know, is still we, we, busy. It is because I've struggled to get you. <laughs> you tell me that I'm only free on weekend. All right? Yeah. Yeah. So all right. So how do you balance everything? I've tried and master what we call time management and decided to come, okay, the definition of time is actions of change. So it's all a matter of change. So what I've decided to do with that is what we call time management of life. As you see, people have study timetable. They plan how they're going to study. Mm. But one of the reasons I believe they don't necessarily manage to follow their study timetable is because each and every single time they look at that, it's always about studying. Mm. So I have what we call time management of life, whereby it has time for me to masturbate. It has time for me to go and attend classes. <laughs> it has time for me to you teach. You have time for that. I do. <laughs> I do. No, guys, we, we, we all do. You also do have time for that. No, 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 no. As much as you will not don't admit it, I know we do. If you go to adult websites right now, I mean, I don't, the <laughs> amount of views we have. Check my there. Google search. <laughs> no, I'm giving you. Don't worry, I've been there. I know how to clear history. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much experience. But uh, to answer your question is that I have time. It's minutes. like I have so much experience. <laughs> I do. By wait, the way. Wait, 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 wait. Kanti, what you say? 159 body count. You're talking about your hand. No, 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 no. no. Oh. My, my hand is not involved in that. But oh. my hand is used for practice. <laughs> no, it is used for practice so that I know if I can do this for certain number of minutes. Yeah. And then there I can survive for certain number of but minutes. But there it's hurt. Where? <laughs> You train yourself for that thing to be hot for you. <laughs> you train yourself. Now, if I'm... Guys, this hand, I call it palisa. This one, I call it precious. I can have threesome anytime I want to. You say what? This is palisa. This is precious. So anytime I want to have a threesome, I can have it. So I train myself. If I know how to... Sus if I know how to make myself <laughs> enjoy that thing, then that's when I can say, okay, you can only manage to do it if we do it like this, like this, like this. Uh, because I have enough experience. Come on, 159, you can't just, you know, that's a lot of experience. Hey, and nothing can beat experience. Palace and precious. Leave palace and precious alone. I was still answering. <laughs> okay, go, so time management of life is something whereby I'm going to have time for TikTok. When I look at the timetable, it has yeah. time for TikTok. It has time for me to go eat pizza and do all those content. Yeah. Whereby I can plan, okay, 
uh, on this day, it's day for content whereby I take different outfits, take different videos. I know that for the whole week, I don't have to shoot anything. Mm. It's just a matter of uploading and whatsoever. My classes are on this day and this day. It's something that is stable. I can also put it there. Yeah. So whenever I'm looking at that timetable, it has time for me to be to have fun. Yeah. Time for me to be serious. Time for me to focus on my business. Yeah. Time for me to focus on my academics. So sure. that is how I manage my time. I hear you, my guy. Yeah. You know, we, we're living in such a fast world right now. Through that. You know, whereby, you know, almost there's nothing that can just go by. Yes. And people don't actually have it on record or uh, shoot it, whatever. Yes. And some of the craziest things is like, you know, when people see one another fight and or somebody, like something whereby they need to help before they can shoot, but they rather shoot first and help later. Brilliant. So the question I want to put to you is that, what is your take like on, especially this social platform, TikTok, compared to other social networks? Because you are very much prominent on, on TikTok, uh, very popular there as well. Even Facebook, you are very much popular. A little bit popular. Yeah, you are popular. So what is your take like uh, on social media as, as a whole, but more specifically uh, on the fighting thing? No, 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 no. What is your take? When I spoke about the fighting, I'm just... Exambalizing. Yeah, right, exambalizing. Yeah, no, it's okay. So, so social media as, as a whole and you being so uh, prominent on TikTok, what do you think about TikTok? Personally, I believe we all have different characters in life. Mm. And also social media can either build or break you. And besides the social media being having the power to build or break you, as influencers, we have the power to can build or break a certain thing, because let me exemplify by me saying that I'm eating so much pizza the way I'm eating it. It influences certain people that they even come and try that. Mm -hmm. So that can play as a better role to build someone yeah. or something that can actually really come and break yeah. someone. So the social media, I can't necessarily say that it is toxic. It just depends on your character, on what you take on the social media mm -hmm. and what you do not take. Because it's not necessarily about social media, even in life in general. Mm. There are people who are toxic, there are people who are loving and caring. It's up to you what you accept in your life. Yeah. So social media is based on how you also look at it and how you take mm. what. Because it has everything. It has a section that is very education, educational. Mm. It has a section that is very toxic. It's mm. up to you what kind of character are you willing to be mm. and what are you willing to take from the media. Yeah. So it just depends on who you are. Hey, but we see a lot of nudity nowadays, eh? Exactly. It depends on who they are. Those people who are shooting those, they are trying to to make content. They are trying to be look for attention whatsoever. Yeah. That is who they are. Yeah. And we are there. We will come and like. Yeah. <laughs> and look at Mapungu Pungu there. <laughs> and then later on, if you don't have enough data for adult world, you know, uh, <laughs> Palisa. <laughs> Let's go, Palisa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do, eh? <laughs> Kwanze, it happens. It's part of life, you yeah. know. It's part of life. It's part of having fun yeah. for me, personally. Nah. Yeah, that's True fun. Day. True that. Yeah. What inspired the the character of Booty and Dinosaur? Honestly speaking, I can't necessarily say that this is a certain thing that inspired that. It was just a matter of me going live uh, for the first time, actually, mm. on TikTok. That was my first time going live on TikTok. And I'm boom, hey, jiggy, jiggy, two minutes later, there's 2,000 people, 4,000, hey. There's so much people, I'm like, right, let me actually just try and invite people into my life. Mm. Invited people, and then I came across Humera, who now is Puri. Yeah. And then we communicated. The life was just okay and fun the first day. Hey, she DM'd me. Yeah. And then we started talking. Hey, she's taking things too serious, this girl. Hey. And next thing we are going up. Next thing it's a relationship. Next thing we break up. Yeah. And next thing it became real, man. There is, was a is, point, the is the relationship real? There was a point where in the DMs it was hitting real, Guti, you know. Uh, uh, we were talking about like real life problems. Yeah. I'm facing this and this and this. Wow. I don't know how to come across. I'm like, hey, okay. That's when I noticed the power of social media. She's part of the 159? Yeah, I uh, no, 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 she's not. She's not. <laughs> guys, guys, she's not. I've never did anything with Pudi. Uh, she's not. But then uh, I've noticed the power of social media. People were even willing to pay for mm. her flight to come to South Africa. But mm. she ended up opening up and talking why she can't be able to make it to South Africa mm. due to her restrictions of 
passports and all those kind yeah, of things. It's not but, really, it's not really yeah, space. Yeah, but if she was to come here, hey, I think she'll be gonna be real. Ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm single, by the way, so if something happens, ah, ne? Yeah. You know, the the reason why I'm asking you about this um booty and dinosaur is because I've I've personally went through uh, the comments. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'll have people talking about like the, what you spoke about is one of those like where people ask for her to come this side, yeah. and also people talking about this is kind of like one of the best soapies that we have in Mzanzi. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like this is like the real thing because some some people actually even get angry when you guys don't go live. Like the, the okay. yeah, they, 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 they always want to see you guys. You know. So try and make a plan for 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 the lady for the sake of content, not for the sake of 160. Yeah. Oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> interested in the 160. No, oh, DT, I want to know. Maybe she can add up. Ooh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But then, yeah, I'm shining a steel in the middle. Yeah, but yeah, I almost said something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thing is, uh, I I will do. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, it's like in my it's mind. It's only coming now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, honestly, speaking, yeah. the only reason that I'm not actually just doing as people wish is because social media can also put you under pressure. You know, there's also what we call social media pressure. You can be depressed from social media. Yeah, true that. Yeah, I've seen that. So I'm trying to do things at my own pace, irregardless of... I know people do want a certain content and whatsoever, but it was not part Mm. of the monthly or the weekly plan. So I'm supposed to follow that plan to make sure that I'm sustainable. I'm not behind with anything of my life because my life is not social media Mm. only. So I'm trying to also sustain that because Mm. before it can become pressure. So I'm trying to sustain the pressure before it gets too much into a point whereby I can't handle it anymore. But then, yeah, there is definitely a time whereby I'm coming with that content of Puri. Mm. Puri is going to definitely come to South Africa. If she doesn't come, yeah, there's another Jasmine, mm. American lady with tattoos. Yeah, no, my exactly. Way. All right. You are a foodie foodie. Uh, recently, I, I read this comment. Uh, it was actually a status posted by... Uh, the mother of my son, right? Uh-huh. Uh, she, 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 she posted the status. It said, "Why, why, why, what? Why, where? Why is it that we we can drink a drink, but we can't food a food?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? we can drink a drink, but yeah. we can't food and food. We eat a food, don't food a food. Yeah, you can't food oh. a food, but we can drink a drink. You know what I mean? I know it. Yeah, so for somebody who's such a, is, am I right when I say a foodie? Like you, you eat a lot. Uh, your content <sighs> about eating is, is all over the place. Why is it that you, you are so, and you are so careless with it? You know, like, it's like you don't care. Like, everything must just go in. There's no timing. Everything must just go in. Yeah. And all in. Uh Uh-uh. We are not there. (laughs) (laughs) We are not there. Uh, All right. So, this is how, actually, the the eating content and everything Mm. actually started. Uh, What's up? Ah, no, it's fine. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, we'll operate with that one. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, as I was still saying, yeah. how they actually eating content and taking everything came in. That was back in 2022. Mm. I got into a relationship whereby... Oh. Yes. Okay. So, a very famous past relationship, by the way, that was everywhere. Okay. Tell, tell us about it. I, I know I, about it. Ipe Lili, Ipe Lili. But then it's fine. If you want, you are interested in it, I will share about it. Yeah. So what happened in that relationship, uh, it came whereby I wasn't expecting to be in a relationship. So as I tell you, I have time management of life. So mm. I was no longer able to create content because I didn't have time for that. So the only time I had to take content is if I go out with her. Mm. So while we are out, they will bring food for the both of us. Mm. She wants to eat her meal while it's still hot. Mm. I need to share something to my social media platforms. Yeah. Then what's the plan? Please shoot me a video, just one minute. Let me quick, 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 no. so that you can also eat while your food is still hot. Sure. That's how I started. I've always been someone who eats a lot, but not fast. But yeah. I had to eat hey, fast. So she, 
Yeah, that place is crazy. <laughs> I saw the one you were eating <laughs> by the wedding. Ah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, they, they stuffed us the whole day there. Yo. I didn't eat ever since in the... I think I ate like three And it's like you get so impatient with the food. Like you would start, you know, <laughs> of course with a quick... Uh, yeah, you know? was this like but little... there comes a point where you're like, I want it all in. <laughs> I just want it all in. Mm. Yeah, so it came to a point where by now for me to be able to shoot content, I need to shoot while we go out. Mm. And her food also needs to still be warm when she eats it. Sure. So for her food to still be warm while she eats it, I need to eat mine as yeah. fast as I can. Yeah. That's how the eating everything came along. And yeah. then people started loving it. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Let's continue doing this. Is she not concerned about like the 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 health side of it because sometimes it can have you know. Uh, initially, I I wasn't necessarily mm. uh, involved and interested in my health thing because yeah. I play soccer, so oh. I'm always sweating. I'm so always the playing soccer. soccer is there. Yeah, yeah. I, the soccer is there. Yeah. The soccer is there. Plus, I play in a wing, so the position I'm always supposed yeah. to be. To be running. So got those, those wing brackets. Uh, I don't even have brackets. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, so that's how actually I started maintaining mm. it. And the reason I was continuously being skinny as time went by is because I was in a relationship with mm. stress, la paya. Ne? Ah, so as soon as I went yeah, out, hey, I'm tomorrow gain. I'm yeah. right. So I think now I need to be in a relationship again. Okay. By mistake, at least for three weeks, three months, yeah, yeah. Then I will lose again. The next question is how do you control the traffic? Women, because there's so many women that throw themselves at you. Why are you sure? What mm-hmm. makes you so sure about that? We see it on, on, on social media. Hey, and before, or should I expose what no, you no, 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 what no. were telling us? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. About, it's fine. Uh, no, the thing is, thing is, uh, I'm being approached by who is not my type. I have a certain type. What's your type? Yo, mm, you know. Uh, mm. Mm, skinny nyana, a little bit bullet hole nyana. In Londo, it's seven. So yeah. what hole would he body so all about? I want a distinction here, man. So because no, I won't lie. I, I initially thought I don't have a type until I, I was involved with someone. Hey, my guy, mm. I think uh, she was here for two nights and three days. From where? <laughs> <laughs> so we can Google it. <laughs> hey, my friend, she took a plane all the way from Eastern Cape, my man. Oh, it's Eastern Cape, not PE. Isn't PE in Eastern Cape? She, the flight was from East London. I, uh, you know, we, start, we need to start traveling. We don't exactly. Know. He came all the way here, my guy. All the way here, my guy. First night, mm. never came. Who you? Yes. Second night, never came. Not even once. Ganjan, am I don't know. And. During the, 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 the day, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I need to go and do something here and there. Can I? And then I got a show. When they call one of those that, you know, mm. obvious ones. Dada. Yeah, I got a call from one of the obvious ones. Got the... Thank you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the issue is the one that is in my room. It's not me. I am not the issue right here, man. The issue is there. Uh, and then when I went back there, Asia, I'm like, if she dare touches me at night, yeah. I am going to tell her this time around. <laughs> and, oh, so you actually did the deeds with the other ones. Yeah, to try and see if maybe, uh, maybe why, I have an issue now. Why didn't it, you no. invite Palace and... Uh, and, 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 and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was not interested in Palace and Lerato that time. I, I was involved in a hair thing. I am. I am. My guy, I, I even lied and said I came because so I was doing it wrong. So it was better. <laughs> and then from there, I'd be like, okay, she's probably gonna notice that I don't come. So let me just do this as if I'm like, I'm not gonna do this. And I just make that sound. <laughs> so to pretend as if I'm coming, because imagine, man, you came all the way from another province to another province, mm. took a flight, like you flew Who from the flight herself. We've been talking whereby I was interested in her. She wasn't. And then we stopped talking. All of a sudden, she started DMing me. And mm. then we started talking. And she's like, nah. But I think she was there was something that she wanted to do this side. Because on Saturday, we had to go somewhere to deliver something. So oh. <laughs> she just wanted a place to sleep, which was at my place. She delivered to. twice. Not necessarily dividing that package, a certain package. <laughs> that one was just specifically delivered to me. <laughs> hey, I, now, now I noticed, man. Hey, sh- okay. Ah, Chabi, get something for me, guys. All right. Have you, <laughs> still, still on that on, on that topic. <laughs> yeah, guys, have you ever, I'm still traumatized. But it's have, you ever, have you ever been involved with a sugar mama? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that I'm going to be honest. Yes, I have, but it was a mistake. 
it was a mistake. Mistake anja. <sighs> All right. Mm. I need to pre- I need to respect the poor old lady. Mm. How this, old? She was 43. And you are? I was yeah? 22. Yo, yo, yo. No, no, no. <clears throat> Is she part of the 159? Correct. Ah! <laughs> okay, I promise that I'm going to be honest. Yeah. So this is how the situation happened. She DMs me on Instagram. She's like, hi, uh, I would like you to tutor. Guys, I don't usually do this. Mm. It was just that one mistake that I did in my life. We all do mistakes after all. So this lady DMs me on Instagram. She's like, um, hi, I would like you to tutor my daughter. I'm like, okay, no problem. We exchange daughter, numbers. how old? Your age? The daughter was my age. I was ah, doing the trick by then. No, no. What's going on? Sharp, no problem. She DM'd me. Long story short, from there, she was collecting me from my room to her place. Husband is back in the villages. She... You're nice. So she's there with her daughter. daughter. Yeah. There she's hot. Yo, man. You wouldn't believe who she is, but it's fine. Ah, so, <laughs> so what this lady did... There was wait, a day. Wait, I'm trying to think. No, no, don't, don't. Oh my God, don't yet, don't yet. Okay. So we were playing soccer. So we were changing, and then we happened to shoot a video. And then I was wearing a shirt. I posted it on my status. So she commented. She's like, "Hey, them guys, normal. You guys are gonna make us do mistakes." And I'm like, "It wouldn't be a mistake if we both wanted it." She's like, "Are you sure?" And so that means it wasn't a mistake. Because you, it was because we said I said it wouldn't be a mistake, but I noticed no, it was a mistake because I was. Falling for someone older. Mm. And in my nature... But they, they say there's, there's no age for... Yeah, no, they said we should respect adults. So mm. I couldn't say no to her. She came home, came home, came home, came home, I can't yeah. say no to Mutuadi. So what happened is that the day she came to fetch me, I was wearing that same shirt. And she's like, yo, you're really tempting me, Davy. Keep it yeah, down. And she's like, really tempting me, Davy. I'm like, uh, I'm sorry. And then she's like, no. Ah, today just to tie for 30 minutes, we need to talk. I said, sure. Mm. Got there, was tutoring it. I didn't take it serious. Yeah. Until she's like, hey, uh, it's time for leave. I told her, what I could do. have to do something. Yeah. I went to my place. I signed it in. She's like, let me go see your room. Yeah. My guy, as soon as I opened the door, she manhandled me. She. She's the one who. Hold me behind the. Chow. Then I. Then we kissed and then we did the deeds. Mm. Without a protection. Ah, I'm gonna listen to this guy. <laughs> After doing that, and then I, I was not satisfied. Yeah. And I start kissing. She's like, Do you wanna go back again? I'm like, Yes. She's like, Already? Mm. I'm like, Yes. She's like, Yo, it must be nice to be young. <laughs> <laughs> then she left. Later on, E wallet, 6K for you. Yeah. Then she calls me. She's like, Please don't text me. Hey, okay. Not a problem. Now the problem became as I was continuously teaching her daughter. She was having an interest in me. The daughter. The daughter. And we had uh, a thing with the, the mother. With she was a level four kind of a lady. Two stone. We were like, was it two stone, one bed or bed? <laughs> one uh, bed, was, two stone. So we, we had an agreement that she was a, a level four kind of learner. She mm-hmm. was, we were like, if she gets level six or seven, I'm getting a certain bonus. So I knew if I smash, she will not get that distinction and I will not get that bonus. Yeah. I needed that bonus. Distraction. And now this mother was making this thing and every day. She was fetching me at four. Now she's coming at three. So she's coming early. Every time she wants, it became tiring the moment she stopped sending me money. It was no longer nice. That's when I stopped enjoying the whole entire thing. Marakim mm-hmm. So continuous do that until she had a trip to go to Limpop. Mm. Hey, that's when me and her daughter did things. Ah, uh, oh. I know. I and know. Then, I, yeah, so the whole family. I want. No, 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 not the whole family. <laughs> so, but that's one, that's one thing that I'm not proud of because it, it was a mistake. It was continuous. Definitely not a mistake. According to you, mm. they will remember what the, what is this? Hey, you caught me off guard there. And these things, they belong to me. What is this according to you, the way you see it? When I look at it, yes, it's a lens. When you analyze it, it's a cup. It's a cup. I am seeing a circle with a radius of plus minus four centimeters. Ah, I don't start. So what I'm no, what I'm trying to show you is that we're seeing the same thing, but we analyze it differently. Right. You seeing the certain situation, you analyze it as if it was not a mistake. Mm. I'm seeing the same situation. Yeah. I'm seeing it as a mistake. You are not wrong for saying it's not a mistake. Yeah. I am not wrong for saying it's a mistake. Yeah. But it's a mistake because I'm the one who was involved in it. You should give me those mistakes, but for bad way. Now. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was. Yeah. 
there should come up with it. Yeah. <laughs> no. my son that. And hey, any... guys, if I happen to die, mm. we all know I the Popo was... podcast is the reason. No ways. No ways. Nobody's <sighs> going to shoot you. Like any um, regret in your life, like that you, you, you probably feel like, you know, I shouldn't have tapped into that space. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have went there. You know, what, do you have any regrets like so far? Honestly speaking, I can't necessarily say I have regrets because most of those things, I did them knowing what... No, no I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about uh, that situation. I know. Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, I, I can't necessarily say it's regrets because those are some of the things that I was consciously fine and mm. understanding what I am putting myself into. Yeah. Just that some of the things you will never understand what you are supposed to do yeah. until you try it out. Yeah. So I tried them out and then I noticed that it, this is not the right way to do one, two, three, four, five. Mm. I'm not supposed to be in five, six, seven. Yeah. But I am grateful of those things they are not my regrets because they taught me a certain lesson mm. without those things I wouldn't have been who I am today yeah. some of those things they taught me to be grateful of life mm. some of those things they taught me to be tough with mm. life yeah. that it will not always give you what you are looking mm. for and whatsoever so it is not regret it mm. were less it was lessons sure. so there are those kind of things but I took them as lessons so I can't say those are regrets mm. But there are things that I'm not proud of in my life. Yeah. But those are my lessons, not my regrets. So when are you getting married? Never. Part of my life is that, uh, part of my long-term goal is that I'm not willing to be ma- to get married or have kids in the near future. Sorry? I am not willing to be involved in marriage or have kids. Not even by mistake. With no condom. Some of those things are mistakes. That, like I said, <laughs> there are mistakes that were lessons in my life that I do not regret. Yeah. It's part of those. So how, how, how do you now prevent yourself from having kids? Condomize. Yeah, maybe this mathematics is, is, is not adding up the same way. <laughs> uh, no, it is. Now that I'm learning that the best way to actually prevent yourself, mm. because I won't lie, mm. we... Most of South Africans are not afraid of HIV. We are afraid of having kids. So pull, yeah. if you can pull out, then that's fine. If yeah. you don't care about HIV, yeah. by the way, I'm HIV negative. I'll share my status proudly. So yeah. just because I have 150, then doesn't mean good. Thing. <laughs> 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 my the worst girl I've been involved in is probably better than the best girl you've been involved in. By the way, mm. just saying. So to prevent it is through condomizing. Yeah. I've tried to to, to abstain. Mm. Hi. Hey, two weeks was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, two weeks was a lot. Yeah. I had already tried. Was once involved in addiction, addict, being addicted to masturbation. And yeah, it's mm. one of the things that. How did you how did you cure that? Like rehab? Uh, I've been in rehab for 21 days, three weeks. It was one of a hell of rehabs. It did manage to pause me for plus minus eight months. And then I almost went back and then I started taking medication for that. Mm. And hey, I felt like me, that medication is probably going to stop me, my manhood. So uh, yeah. I stopped it. So now ish. Oh, mm. I am back in the addiction, but it's yeah. not something that I'm proud of, but I'm working on it. Nah. No, I am working on it. The, um, are you... A Christian or a churchgoer, if you are? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to lie. <laughs> okay, I can't lie in front Listen, of my friends. I can't lie in front of my friends. <laughs> I go to church if, if you invite me and you promise me that there is food. Yeah. Willingly so. Yeah. Ah, three times a year, that's enough. I win game. Ah, that's three times a day, three times a year. But yeah. I'm one person who I wouldn't go two days or three days without praying. Yeah. When I eat, we always pray. When I sleep, I always pray. Beautiful. Mm. But uh, I'm not someone who goes to church that deep, deep. I have friends who who preach even yeah. during conferences, they go there and preach. Yeah. And those are the people that I'm around. Believe me, I have best friends. All of them, the things I do, they do the opposite. Mm. I'm one person who that likes up and downs with, yeah. you know, yeah. they're chilled. Yeah. I'm one person who doesn't drink. Some of them, they do. They do. Okay. They go clubbing and all that. Yeah. I have friends who are pastor, like they preach. Mm. And there's me, who, you know, yeah, we always need to be like that. Always, we always be, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be there. They need to take me on the way, but hey, can the cheese up? <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, uh, I can say I'm Christian, but church goer, mm. not necessarily. Mm. You have to be no one Christian. I, I'm okay. Church goer. Uh. I'm Christian, but I believe in everything. I'm Christian. I also believe in. 
Ma was ma. Those kind of things. <laughs> you believe in those? I also do believe in those. You know, I grew up in family that group believes in those. Boma go ba fela ba okay awa. When I go past school on Italian to work, kunam eh. Kogwa on kwacha ne mamang mamang raka irikili dumu sakata mara watu ati eh inushana le ba kubwa mamang. Yeah. After doing that, I go and open a Bible. Oh, my dear, Papa Ramasaidi. <laughs> Any of those. <laughs> so I'm one person who believes in everything. Culture, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I believe. I'm a believer. I yeah. Believe. I'm not against. I believe. Don't go on. Tell me about Bible. I believe. Yeah. Tell me about Bible. I believe. Yeah. Tell me go to the song. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Who do you want to black? I believe. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. Prophet. Yeah. Prophet. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. I believe. I'm one person who oh, okay. And speaking of pizza, I called you. I'm like, dude, I want to give you, send you money, get yourself something. So we want to see that live when you eat. But you that's said, the thing. The mo- the time you called me, yeah. I was finishing to eat. And I didn't think that when we get here, we're yeah. not going to shoot immediately. Yeah. If I knew that this at least going to be it's five space, minutes. Because yeah. Yeah. one thing about me, okay, in the morning, I'm one person who likes pop, so I'll just eat pop. Pop in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And then the roll is going to finish. Yeah. So, when you finish the roll, I'm like, hey, 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 hey this guy, you can go to the Yeah. Yeah, but then, uh, definitely can make time to come and specifically just for Limpopo podcast and yeah. pizza, this normal boy. We can definitely do that. Sure thing. I don't mind doing I'll, that. I'd love that. I'd definitely. Love that. Then we'll um, talk about it. Your brand has grown so big, enormously. And, you know, you've managed to capture people from all sides of, of South Africa. And one thing I've realized is that, you know, there's so many local brands that are so attracted to your brand as well. That and one of them is there, one that you you're wearing right now. Much of the world. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> what 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 is your relationship with Boma? Because most of the time we see you wearing the bucket head and Boma, it's it's family. I, mm. I can't necessarily say that I am their influencer. Boma is a brand that I'm actually having a build-up relationship that is family because family is not necessarily people that Blood are line. part of your bloodline yeah. or bloodstream or whatsoever. It's the people that you create your relationship with out of the bloodstream family. Yeah. So there are people that we are actually family. Mm. Boom, so we yeah. are family. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, before we close, I just want to find out what are some of the things that are still in the pipeline for you? Maybe if you'd like to share, uh, I don't know, like your future plans, like things that we haven't seen from you that you still probably want to try out and pursue. Uh, honestly speaking, as you know, my name is this normal boy, which means not being normal, not being abnormal. I'm a unique identifier. I'm not like anyone else. I know there are people who do cultural engineering, back in Limpopo, midnight engineering, those kind of things. So the moment I share my plans, I know that you guys are ready with your light things and <laughs> it happens. I know that you guys are ready. So whatever that comes along, be ready for it. But mm. fact is, um, looking towards working with brands as time goes by, expect more content mm. and more unexpected things from me. Yeah. I am coming for you guys. Yeah. So personally, feel like sometimes when you share your plans, they don't go according to the plan because now mm. the next partner knows that is about true. it. And more specifically, mm. midnight engineering. Yeah. Pop, you don't have... You just need to be old to graduate for that. <laughs> Only about how about my eighty something years old that yeah. actually do happen, uh, you know. So, but expect anything, mm. honestly, and yeah, expect anything. Yeah, hey man, I've been wanting to sit down with you, and I feel like you know, I'm I'm satisfied. You know, I'm I'm so happy uh, for for the interview. I feel like it flowed so nicely, although there's a lot of. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, guys, those who are actually into content creation and all those who are back from home who feel demoted in terms of creating content and whatsoever, just always know that always try to fail. Don't fail to try because the moment you fail to try, you never know what might happen for you. And remember, 
collaboration, have a good relationship. Relationship as a fella, guys. We need to also understand that relationship as a fella. Creating relationship, for example, if I am someone who is a content creator and this guy has cameras there, and this yeah. guy right here is yeah. he's, he's an actor or whatsoever, me and him, we can create something and act. True. But without those cameras, our content can't get to the world. Yeah. So do collaborate with others who have whatsoever. One candle lighting another candle doesn't lose a spark, but it makes the room look brighter. So wow. always make sure yeah. that you connect and fight your fears. And I really appreciate being, and I'm honored to mm. be called by Limbo Podcast. I see Mang Limang. I see Mang Limang. So I really, really, really feel honored mm. being welcomed to the family. Yeah. Because from now on, we are one. Thank you. I Thank you. It. And do share your, your for those who want to you know, uh, probably learn from you mathematics, those who want to learn bad way, you know, like how do people reach you like the best possible way without, you know, messing up with your schedule and interrupting you. All right. So all social media platforms at this normal underscore boy. Most importantly, Instagram is what is very good for communication. Facebook, ish. TikTok, I barely open those. And then also WhatsApp, but specify when you text. If it's for Betway, just say, hi, Betway. I'll reply you accordingly. If it's for Mets, hi, grade 11, hi, grade 12, hi, special. When you say special, it means you are for varsity and all those. On 079-409-2862. If you say hi, I will probably reply by saying your message was seen and successfully been ignored. Mm. Or... So I want line G to get the blue deal. I want to write. Okay, guys. Um, that's it uh, from us. Uh, for me, it was such a beautiful interview. I had fun. Um, there's something that I'm going to do with this episode, right? Um, we spoke about a lot of things. But I mentioned a place where he comes from, right? Comment on the comment section. Comment uh, the name of the place and I'm going to be giving away vouchers for those who are on Bedway. Uh, simply because, you know, he's, he's like a top dog with those, those type of things. So comment the place where he comes from and I'm going to hook you up with uh, uh, what you call it? Vouchers. A voucher. But otherwise, from us, Limpopo Podcast, we are grateful to be back, giving you more content. Stay tuned. We love you. Save our... Bye-bye.